Hi, this is Mr. Holmes, and we are going to be working on an example problem that deals with forces and coefficient of friction. So, the first problem I have here is my son is pushing his 0.5 kilogram car across the floor at a constant speed of 1.5 meters per second for a distance of 3 meters. He is pushing horizontal with an applied force of 10 newtons. What is the coefficient of friction between the wheels of the car and the floor? So, things first, and that's to draw my free body diagram of what I know happening here and so I know I'm assuming this is on earth so I know the there's a weight pulling down on it or a force of gravity and my son is pushing on the car so that means an applied force I'll just think it's going to the right and there's gonna be a normal force the floor is be pushing up on the car that's my normal force and then there's a frictional force taking place between the wheels and the floor that's what I'm trying to solve for here it's coefficient of friction so, there's my free body diagram, and now I'm going to pull out my numbers, what I know from the word problem. So here is my mass of 0.5 kilograms. I know its mass is measured in kilograms. And a constant speed of 1.5 meters per second. Put that down. And then a distance of 3 meters. Uh, what else here? We have an applied force of 10 newtons. And the coefficient of friction is what we're solving for. That's my unknown, so I'll put that down as well. Now, I am going to have to look forward to see which equation I can use to solve for mu. So with this particular um, variable I'm trying to solve for, there's only one equation we can use to solve for mu, and that's the force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force. Um, but if we look at my equation and what I know, I don't know, I don't have written down either the force of friction or the normal force. But I do know the relationships between these um, these forces and other forces, if I look at the word problem. So what's key here is that the car is moving at a constant speed horizontally. So that means constant speed, acceleration is zero, so forces are balanced. So that means that, I'll put it down here, the applied force is equal to my frictional force. And also vertically, um, it's not accelerating. So the weight going down is equal to the normal force going up. Okay, so these pairs are um, counterbalancing each other. So now I can say that the applied force or the frictional force, since they're equal, is 10 newtons. And the mu is still my unknown. The normal force, I still don't know, but I can solve for it easily enough since it's equal to weight. And weight is mass times gravity. And so weight is equal to m, uh, mass was 0.5 kilograms, and gravity is 9.1 meters per second squared. And so to solve for weight, um, just multiply the two numbers together, and I get a weight of 4.905 newtons. Okay, so that's my weight. Uh, that's also my normal force. I can plug that in up here. And so to solve for mu, the algebra itself is uh, a little bit pretty simple here. So I'll just divide both sides by 4.905. Um, so when I do that, my mu ends up being 2.04. Okay, That's a pretty high value for mu, but it's just a random problem I came up with. And um, mu, there are no units, okay, because newtons divided by newtons, they cancel out. So there's no direction either or any of that. So that's the end of the first example problem.